welcome back to another video guys in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to look out for trade opportunities using this effective strategy or market approach this is basically using the trend line strategy so the first thing i do whenever i want to look out for trade opportunities is to identify the market direction so for example we're on the four hour time frame i want to look out for trade opportunities we have to first identify where the market is headed to and we can actually see that this market is in an uptrend we have three major types of trend we have an uptrend market we have a downtrend market which is this market and we can say we have you also have a consolidation market market creating equal highs and equal lows so this is a consolidation market so basically this market is currently in an uptrend Volatility 50 index is in an uptrend and whenever the market is in an uptrend we have to look out for more of buy opportunities we have to focus on the buy side of the market because the bulls are in favor of this market the bulls are currently in charge of this market they are pushing the market to the upside so we have to trade alongside with that market direction All right so now we've identified the market direction the four time frame what's the next thing we do how do we actually look out for trade opportunities inside of this uptrend right how to look out for our buy opportunities so the next thing i do basically is to spot my levels and zones because it's on these levels that i'm likely to place my buy and sell trades on if price is to get to any of these levels i'm likely to buy on these levels right so we have one of these levels at this zone this is a level of support a key level would say because price has bought has sold on this level and bought on it as well firstly we got the buys at this zone as a support price got to this level moved to the upside as a support broke below it came back to retest it support level broke on turned resistance the sells to the downside the second retest at this zone resistance the sells to the downside resistance as well at this point the sells to the downside so you can see that price has actually sold on this level as a resistance so if markets can actually break above this level right this resistance level giving a retest on it as a resistance level broken down to support there's a high probability and there's a high chance of price going our way there's a high chance of price buying from this level because the market is in an uptrend the market would favor the bulls more to favor the buyers more on this index right on this um level because you can see that market is in an uptrend so a break and test of this neckline sorry of this level they would get in the buy move to the upside so our next level we got is at this point we can actually see these levels clearly on the one hour time frame this is the market trend we spotted on the four time frame it's clearly seen on the one hour time frame that this market is in an uptrend creating series of higher highs and higher lows let's basically identify these higher highs and higher lows before we continue right so we got the first low at this zone first low here second low at this point a higher low why is this a higher low you can see that this previous low is lower than this low and this current low basically is higher than the previous low making it a higher low so we have another low at this zone we have another low here this current low is higher than the previous low making it another higher low so this series of higher highs and higher lows and whenever we get markets create series of higher highs and higher lows it gives the market an upward direction just like a step like formation a step like form right so we got under low at this point this current low is higher than the previous low so this is making it a higher low our next low at this zone basically a higher low so predicting the market's uh, move from this level by seeing price create series of higher highs and higher lows we can easily predict that if price can break above this level of resistance it's a resistance level because we've seen how price has sold on this level the first sells are this zone resistance price got to this level so to the downside second sells at this point resistance price got to this level as well so to the downside third sells are this zone resistance and see how price moved to the upside sold from this level resistance lastly at this zone we got the first sells here and the second sells at this zone so we can easily predict the next market move by saying that if price can break above this resistance level giving a retest on it likely to get the buy to the upside because we've been able to identify the market direction and we've been able to see that price will be creating series of higher highs and higher lows so after this last low we got a low at this zone what a low here so on price selling to the downside you can see 
or we can assume that market is likely to give a new low formation a new higher low formation at this point and this is actually a level of resistance that got broken which we have possibilities of price retesting as a support for the buy move to the upside so you can see how price actually did what but to the upside so we've been able to predict the market direction the next market move easily by identifying the market's trend spotting our levels and zones our higher lows and higher highs formation which is giving the market an upward direction so these are our trend resistance because on trend lines we have our support level and our resistance level so this is how we basically look at future opportunities this strategy or market approach would give you an advantage in the market it would give you a higher hand in the market right you can see that we got our next level at this point we have this last zone this is not really a confirmed level of resistance but this was a high that price broke out of right price broke out of at this point price came to this point created this high so to the downside so if price can actually break above these highs and give a retest on it there's a possibility and there's a probability of price buying on the retest of this level because we've seen the market trend already and we've known that the buyers are in charge of this market and the bulls are in charge basically so you would easily get price buys to the upside so these are actually predicts the market easily by spotting the market trend identifying my levels and zones so that is guys do well to apply this strategy to your trading game and watch how effective your game will turn out to be All right so hit the like button for more trading and nice and drop a good comment on this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and to my returning viewers i appreciate the support please engaging my videos it means a lot guys let's do more and have enough day